Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marion and I'm your host today. Today we will cover the reason why Tesla achieved a record quarter and why I believe that this is just the beginning to a crazy, crazy 21 year because I believe this was just the start and we will cover that and we will look into further Tesla news, further stuff happening around the Giga Austin factory and of course we will talk shortly as well about Fremont Factory and if you do enjoy that, if you subscribe my channel, you give me support for my work and I hope you follow me for my daily updates now and let's dive in today's video guys. So the main topic is here the question how Tesla actually achieved um, reaching such a high delivery number without even producing Model S and X and the main reason here is being looked at in China and we will cover that in a moment but first we will look into the stuff happening around Giga Austin here looking at the factory right now. So one company actually moved to San Antonio, um, San Antonio east side 80 miles away from the Giga Austin factory and they are um, linked to work with Tesla together and this is Sour Asic. Um, it's an engineering company and they are, do work on battery stuff. So um, they are currently working on um, in the battery sector as well, not only. And they have been linked to Tesla building machines for the battery production. So that would make a lot of sense, even though I think announcing right now to move um, near the factory here and considering that the battery section will be built very soon. Um, it might be that they are just um, moving over there that because they believe they have long-term contracts here, for example, with Tesla and other companies um, moving to Texas. So makes a lot of sense here and it is interesting to see how um, companies are already moving to Texas, even though this move has happened in, the, in other industries as well. And they are working on um, machinery, so they are experts when it comes to machines in the battery sector. And so it's really nice to see that they do that. And I do expect that they are the one that are working on the new cells when it comes to um, the uh, machines that are needed to um, build the new production lines for the 4680 battery cell production. So really good news here. Um, I, I do expect that we will see further uh, announcements or further updates um, in the future when it comes to this company. So just keep that one in mind. Um, furthermore, we have good news from Fremont. Um, actually, the Fremont parking lot that was really empty at the end of the quarter, which is first of all a really good sign, is now already really uh, again packed full with cars. So guys, I think that Tesla is just starting here right now. Just remember the first quarter, everyone is talking about it. Everyone is um, really surprised. Everyone is astonished what Tesla has accomplished here. But Tesla is really concentrated on keep, keep going. I mean, it is the 6th of April. It is six days into the new quarter and they are really concentrated on working and doing great great work in continuing that so talking about giga shanghai troy tess like he has been pretty pretty good in estimating the amount of cars being produced in china and he said there will be a second shift later on actually corrected itself and said that there's only one shift for the model y and he um yeah he is guessing the numbers especially for giga shanghai and for the total company of tesla and he was so wrong. If you look at the numbers here, the error was close to 20,000 cars. And he was pretty close in the past. He has been always guessing the numbers really, really well here. And there's a big question why this happened. And he actually um, gave himself um, a good answer because he was thinking that they moved in China from a one shift Model Y um, to two shifts and later on moved back. First of all, I think it could have happened, yes, but I believe it makes no sense based on the amount of demand they have for the Model Y. But if he thought that they moved back to the Model Y shift just for one shift, 
um, this would have not been able, uh, Tesla would have not been able to achieve such a big results of close to 180,000 cars. So this is the reason why Tesla actually achieved it. I believe they have established already a second shift based on the demand that is out there. And that means that Tesla is able to cover all the other cars like the Model S and Model X that were not produced in this quarter. Despite that, they were able to um, compensate that with a second shift for the Model Y. So we do have more and more news coming. That's not the only thing here. There are more reports showing that Tesla is really ramping up in China. We have seen that there is more land being covered to um, build another factory um, there. There's no official statement for that. That's still rumors. And um, we do see that Tesla might be expanding the production for the Model Y faster than expected. It is going pretty smooth. So I do expect that when we see the Chinese monthly numbers, it will just be a question of time when the Model Y is actually catching up to the Model 3. So achieving this amazing result for the first quarter was, in my opinion, only possible because Tesla was able to achieve great, great production rates with a Model Y in China. And this will be the key here. If they further expand and further um, increase the production in China for the Model Y and the Model 3, um, we could see here um, actually half a million cars not only coming from China, but it might be around 400,000 cars or 350,000 cars coming from China. Again, this is just speculation here. I'm not sure um, how big the numbers are yet. And he has stated before 5,700 Model Ys per month. I mean, I do believe it will go pretty quickly to 10,000. They will reach that. We do know the numbers from Model 3 are much higher than 5,700 per month. So again, it's just a question of time till Tesla is going to produce more than 20 to 30 thousand cars they are currently at around 23 24 so the next barrier or max big number would be 30,000 cars and that would be around 90,000 in a quarter and that would make a big difference so i believe turning back to the uh, entire scene here not only um, the giga shanghai fremont in the future giga taxes um, and giga berlin i think yes in the third quarter and fourth quarter we will might see numbers that we have not seen before in the second quarter considering the model s and the model x coming into play as well and further ramp up in china i think we will easily easily exceed 200,000 cars i think we could see something around 210 220,000 cars if they would do that then they are really on path to reach 1 million cars. And we have seen that with Wetbush, they have increased their target to 850,000 cars. It is just a question of time when other analysts, other investors will officially say that 750,000 cars, which would be a 50% increase, are not only happening. No, they are going to do more. So guys, this is my personal opinion here and I think we are in a really exciting time here and we will soon see many investors realize that 1 million cars are possible. Stay tuned guys and take care.